Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to get, show you guys the new Seacrest chamber that we have here at Southpaws. Just some of the new features. We've been doing hyperbarics for about three years now, but uh, this new chamber has some really great things that we love, and I just kind of wanted to point out a few of the things. One of the major benefits that I see is this large acrylic base. Um, don't be fooled, the, the acrylic is not an issue. That's what's used in the majority of chambers all across the world. Uh, almost every human chamber is, is made with acrylic. So whether it's acrylic or steel doesn't have any influence on how your chamber will operate. This has almost a 20 year life to it. It's very hard. It's very hard for the animal to scratch it or tear it. So we really haven't seen any issues with that. But the thing that I love about it is the visualization of the patient. Obviously you guys know with hyperbarics, with monitoring that patient is really important for things like oxygen seizures or other issues. Now we have full look at our patient when they're in there and we're not trying to look through a small porthole or anything. So I think this is a, a huge uh, benefit to having the acrylic base chamber. The other thing is, is I know this sounds funny, in all the human chambers comes a telephone so that you can talk to your patient. But I actually really love this feature because sometimes if there's a lot of anxiety in the patient, we can actually just talk to them and get them calmed down, get them to lay down. And it's actually been a lot more useful than I thought it would. So it's actually kind of a, a, a neat feature to have for these guys. It also has a plug-in in the back so that if you did want to stream some music to kind of calm the patients or something, you can. Um, in terms of, of the setup of the, of the instruments, everything, everything is super easy with this. Um, when you're pressuring up in this chamber, the great thing is, is it's super safe and it will automatically increase the pressure at a set level that's at a safe time. So you don't have to worry about making small increments as you're getting up to pressure in the chamber, which is really nice. You just kind of set it and let it pressurize to, at, the, at that normal rate. Um, this chamber itself has a, a really nice ventilation system, so we can control how much oxygen comes in and out of the chamber um, to a really fine degree. And especially when you have a really big dog in here that's panting a lot and maybe has more CO2, we can actually ventilate and have more oxygen come through the chamber to help keep it cool and to keep it comfortable. And then one thing that I really love is you get this really nice setup where we can actually look at the percent oxygen in the chamber. We can know what our CO2 levels are. We know exactly what the temperature is, which is nice for maintaining uh, the patient comfort. And then, you know, we also can look at the actual humidity within the chamber. We want that humidity to be right around 30% or greater. That reduces the risk of static shock. But in terms of shock, one of the things that's really nice about the patient tray is there is a, a grounding mat that actually will help if there is any kind of static discharge, it should not create any issues because you have this really nice grounding mat that's grounded to the patient itself. So another really huge benefit for these guys. Well, that's what I wanted to show you today. You get this really nice scissor lift to help the patients get in. This is a, a phenomenal chamber. It's been a great upgrade for us. We can treat multiple patients. We can put really large dogs like a Newfoundland or a Great Dane in here with no problem. In terms of, of the smaller dogs, we can fit up to four small back dogs at a time to treat. So it's really enhanced the efficiency of what we're able to do here. Another real distinguishing part of this chamber is it has an optional free flow oxygen chamber mode. So for me, I think this is great for referral practices or emergency clinics where, you know, space might be limited. You wouldn't have to have an oxygen cage like a Snyder oxygen cage. You know, those cost somewhere between fifteen and twenty thousand um, dollars. This would actually act as your oxygen cage. You can control the percent oxygen you want very easily here. It's all medical grade air that comes through a large compressor that fits in here. Just a really nice feature to kind of cut down on how much stuff you need in the clinic and gives you a very dual purpose to having this chamber. So overall, I couldn't be more pleased. It's been a great addition for us. We're running anywhere from 150 to 200 treatments uh, a, a month in this guy. So uh, absolutely phenomenal piece of equipment, great customer support. The, the guys at Seacrest are just phenomenal about helping us work through and troubleshoot little things. Um, the initial installation has been really carefree. We haven't had any issues at all. So it's been a great experience so far.